Hello YouTube friends and neighbors. Today I want to show you part of my Walking Dead collection. It's uh, it's not my full Walking Dead collection because I have maybe 10 or 20 more that I collected years ago that are just mixed deeper in my collection that I just couldn't get to yet. So I've been sorting my comics and I have so many that they seem to come in faster than I can sort them. <laughs> But I wanted to show you all the ones I have sorted so far. Every single comic in this collection I've picked up either at garage sales or buying a collection. None of them I've really gone out of my way to get. But I wanted them so I, I put together a pretty decent collection. Most of them I probably paid a dollar or two for with a couple maybe five to tens and a couple more I paid maybe half the market value for. Uh, but it's cool. I really like The Walking Dead. First half of the season was a little bit too much gore porn. It was a little bit too much for me. I wasn't really enjoying it. I don't like seeing my favorite characters get beat up all the time. I mean, I do like the anxiety and the tension, but not so much. But the second half, the first episode, I kind of was digging it. So I'm excited. Let me uh, dig into it. This first issue here is a 10th anniversary reprint. I think it's the first two or three issues in there. Then we have, uh, this is the Image Greatest Hits number one. I do need a regular number one. That's on my Holy Grail list, but the price is shot up on that thing. Uh, this is a Emerald City Comic Con number one. Uh, reprint or variant. No, it's a reprint. It came out years later. This is a Portland Comic Con number one. There, again, there's so many of these number one reprints out there. We have uh, Walking Dead Weekly number three, which I've noticed a lot of these uh, Walking Dead Weeklies are starting to go up in value. I didn't realize they did. And number four. And then this is uh, the Survivor's Guide number three. And then this is the Tyree Special number one. Okay, now we're getting into the regular issues. Let me, I'm going to try to let you know what the keys are compared to the show. Not necessarily the key issues based on the comic storyline. Uh, okay, so we have regular number seven. That's the first appearance of Tyrese. And I think that's when you find out that Lori's pregnant. I got number eight. I just, I love the covers, how they relate to the show and whatnot. Number nine with the zombie eyeball. That cover's awesome. Number 10, I think that's the first appearance of uh, Herschel and Maggie. As well as a bunch of other siblings that don't appear. They appear in the comic book, but not the show. Uh, number 11, number 12, uh, number 13, number 14, number 15. I like that cover. It's kind of got, uh, I mean, it's Rick on the cover, but it's got kind of Daryl feeling to it. Number 16, number 17, number 18. This is the one I think I paid the most for, but I really, really wanted it. it was uh, First Appearance of Michonne, number 19. I think I paid $60 for it. Uh, at the time, it was worth about 120 I think right now, I mean, it's only a very fine. It's got a couple of spine ticks. So it's probably like a $150 comic. But uh, I'm excited to have it. I love Michonne. She's an awesome character. Okay, we got number 20. We're in the prison. Always like to look at the covers and the inside, just seeing how it kind of relates to the show. 21. Got 22. 23. Uh, 24. Number 25. Number 26. Number 27, this is uh, first appearance of the governor. That's another key. Okay, we got number 28, number 29, number 30, number 31, 32, 33. I think there's a second print of this with a blue cover at the find. And 34. Number 35, Ugh, zombie teeth. Number 36, number 37, number 38, number 39. I think that's the issue you, Judith, is born. I know I'm probably missing a few keys or importance. If I miss something, just let me know. Uh, number 40, number 41, number 42. Number 43, number 44, number 45, uh, number 46. I think Tyrese gets killed in that issue. Uh, number 47, number 
48. I actually, I think this is the issue that uh, Judith dies. Judith and uh, Lori both die in that issue. 49, 50. I think there's a bunch of different variants for that issue. I need to find uh, 51, 52. Uh, this one is signed. I'm not 100% sure who signed it, but I got it from someone who had it signed. I don't know if it's Corkman or Adler. Uh, and then I have another copy. Uh, the issue that's super cool to me is 53. That's the first uh, Eugene, Abraham, and Rosita. This one's also signed. I bought a collection from one person that had a bunch signed, so I have two copies of that. Pretty cool issue. I like that issue. 54. So I, I have a pretty good run of these going through here. 55. 56. 57, 58, 59, right, 60, uh, 61. This is the first appearance of Father Gabriel. I also think this is uh, first appearance of two, I think. So that's kind of a key issue, and double key. 62, 63. I believe this is the first appearance of the hunters which were on maybe two episodes of the show you know the little group with the uh the claimers that would claim stuff i believe that's them three sixty four sixty five sixty six i think that's the death of dale issue he dies a lot later in the comic than in the show sixty seven this is the first appearance of aaron and then sixty eight aaron's on the cover I remember when uh, that episode came over, out, I thought it was so cool. Just the cover kind of matches the episode. I always think that's cool. And I think this is the first appearance of uh, his boyfriend, Eric. Okay, and then we have uh, 69. This is the first appearance of Alexandria. So now they're in Washington, D.C. Another one of those covers I thought was cool. <laughs> I mean, a lot of these I had before that season. So it's just been kind of fun watching how it matches the storyline. Does it match Rick's the cop again? at Alexandria 71 having a birthday Halloween party kind of thing 72 Michonne's at a nice little dinner party I thought these are cool 73 Abraham's working on the wall 74 Gabriel has his little church again 75 76 77 78 I think a few of these issues might be key based on the comic line storyline, but not the television show. 79. Got 80. 81. 82. 83. I think this issue Morgan dies. So I don't know if that's gonna play out in the in the television show, but this issue is way before, you know, 20 issues before the Negan shows up. 84, 85, 86, 87, 88, 89, 90, 91. All right, I believe 91 is a cameo appearance of Jesus, and then 92 is his first full appearance. And then 93 started the World at Large storyline where they learn about the Hilltop and more of the different people that are out there. Got 94, 95, 96, 97 starts the Something the Fear storyline where, you know, Negan's group's coming in. Uh, 98, I believe. I think this issue is um, when Abraham dies. In the comic books, he dies with the arrow through his head from, I believe, Dwight shoots him. So it's the uh, the doctor gets the same death in the show. So that's why I kind of knew Abraham was coming to get killed in the season premiere. So I wasn't super surprised when they killed I mean, I liked him. I wish they didn't kill him, but it's The Walking Dead. You can't not have people killed. It's also, I think, the first appearance of Dwight. 99... And then we're coming to the the big issue for this season. Right here, number 100. It was big for the series and big for the season. It's the first appearance of Negan. There he is with Lucille. 
And then issue 100, they did so many different covers. I don't have all of them, but I have a bunch of them. I have that variant to issue 100, that variant to issue 100. I have this variant to issue 100. We had that variant of issue 100. Now that cover made me think of the scene uh, when they had the scene with uh, Father Gabriel's group that he had sort of abandoned that had been killed in the supply warehouse, there was a zombie that looked just like that. So I thought of that issue when they had that scene. Uh, we have that variant. I actually I have two copies of that one. I don't know why I have I guess the greens are slightly different. I sometimes keep covers if they have slightly different color to them. And then that variant, the 100. I think I need a couple more of the 100 variants, but it's cool. I mean, most of these I picked up for a dollar or two, so it's not... You know, I'm happy with the price I paid because like, I'm cheap enough. It's exciting to have them. I haven't really gone on my way to fill in the collection, which one day if I have a little extra money, I might do that. But prices are still so high right now that I think it would be kind of a bad investment because I have a feeling if the show loses popularity or once it's over the prices might drop I'll still like them and that's probably when I'll pick I like to pick up stuff not when it's the most popular because that's usually when the prices are the best now when stuff is super popular like buying this issue right now this thing jumped up I mean my copies you got very fine minus it's been red has a few ticks on the spine so that brings it down. No, it's where if it was near me, it would be like a hundred bucks now. I think in that condition, maybe fifty. I'm still happy to have it though, because I paid cheap for it. Because that, you know, when I bought it, it wasn't really worth that much. And that's the one thing. A lot of the issues I bought before the show started are not in this collection. They're still. I still have to find them. Although I would pick. I like zombies, so I'd pick them all up anytime I saw them for a dollar. So I don't even know what I have. But it've been all issues from before 2000. 10 probably i don't know probably under issue 50 or 60 i know i have more i don't think i have the first six issues but i might i really hope i have an issue one hidden somewhere <laughs> that would be pretty awesome <laughs> but I don't, I don't think i do all right so we got uh 101 got 102 got number 103 oh and then i got 103 uh this is a like a cartoony variant we got number 104 I believe this issue is when Carl hides on the truck to try to kill Negan. And 105, number 106. I believe 107 is uh, the first Ezekiel cameo. I'm not 100% sure on that. Or I, it's not a cameo. I think he is, uh, he's mentioned. And then 108 is the his first appearance. This one I just got recently. And I have two of these. Again, I kept the the color is a little bit. This one's more like a greenish yellow. This is a darker gray. I, I'm weird like that. I'll keep, especially if it's a key issue, I'll keep them if they have slightly different colors. Just it's fun. It's fun to collect. And I and both of these I picked up pretty cheap, probably two or three bucks. All right, and then I think some of these uh, issues coming up might spoil. The rest of the season so if you don't like spoilers you might not want to watch the rest of this you got 109 110 111 i got rebag and board that seat dollar 50. uh 112 113 113 okay so i'm missing 114 so now after 113 uh i'm a little bit more sporadic in my collection i haven't been able to fill them in yet but I'm hoping that, you know, I, the, the way I collect, I don't really go out of my way. I just, it comes to me eventually or eventually find it. So All Out War starts at 1.15. And I think this is when they start fighting with Negan. And then this is a blank variant. All right, we got 1.16. 1.17. And obviously it looks, well, I guess Ezekiel's just fighting with zombies. So I don't know if he's in the war yet. 1.18. And honestly, the, these issues I haven't read because I, I, I don't want to spoil the show. So I just, for years, I just stay way behind. No reason to spoil it. <laughs> 119. So I'm just, I'm looking at the covers and just guessing how, I mean, that's Dwight with his face burnt. But obviously we have Dwight, we have Ezekiel. Ezekiel. I think that's Rick and Michonne. So they're all fighting. Okay, we got 120, 121. Uh, is that Eugene beat up? I'm not 100% sure. 122. Got 123. So obviously Ezekiel is very much involved in the storyline. So obviously he's going to become much bigger in the TV series. 124. 
Okay, so I'm missing 127, which is, I think, the first appearance of Magna. Not 100% sure. Uh, I think it might be somehow related to the fun or the end of the last episode, but I, I don't know. I, I still have to read these. Okay, we have 128 and 129. Yeah, so that's my collection that I've sorted. Now, I know I have some more of the older ones, but they might be duplicates. And this is from a couple of years ago, so I don't have any of the last two years worth. And I know like 127 is shot up in value. So I really have to try to find that, which it sucks I don't have it, but you know, it's not the end of the world because I have a lot of the earlier key issues. And the way I collect is I'll find them eventually. I'll buy a collection that has a run of the newer ones, someone who might just bought them for a year, or I'll find them at a garage sale for a dollar or something like that. But it's fun. I really like seeing how the comics relate to the TV series. I kind of like, you know, reading them and seeing the difference. I haven't read all of them uh, just because I don't want to get ahead of myself based on the show. And, uh, but you know, one day I'll, I'll read them, especially when I'm missing The Walking Dead. It's especially when the show's over, I might just do a whole full rundown, read the whole thing, just as a separate fun thing to do. And I do have, I do collect them in the trade format. I have just a couple, I don't have them. I have the original Omnibus and I have other trades. You know, I like having the trades so that. I can read these and I'm not worried about beating up the more valuable comic books. Because something like this, you know, this is a $50 comic book. So I don't know if I necessarily want to read it because I don't want to damage it further than it already has a little bit of damage. Now, I do read my comic books, but sometimes if a comic does become valuable, I'll get the trade for, I mean, I probably got these for a couple bucks each. If I can get the trade, I'll read those. And, and it's also easier to read the trade, I think, because I'll have all the issues together and you're not... You know, you're not looking for the other issue. You don't have to unbag and bore them and whatnot. So did you like this? I have a lot of comic collections, different runs and things. You know, I could talk more about the storylines if you want me to, or I could show you more of my collection. Just let me know in the comments below what you would like me to do. I do like doing the comic book videos. They don't necessarily get the most views. So I usually do them when I'm, um, this week I've been kind of uh, a little bit sick. So I'm doing this video just for the fun of it because I like doing the comic videos when I just want to do something for myself. So this is more for me than anything. But if you if you guys enjoy this type of video let me know because i would love to do more videos like this and if you like this video please give me a thumbs up if you like my channel if this is the first time you're watching please subscribe i want to make videos that you want to watch so you just have to let me know in the comments below what you want to see thank you so much for watching bye